Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Yesudian, a consultant dermatologist based in the UK. Today we will look at a topic which many of us feel we will not encounter, bed bugs. However, I'd like you to reconsider your thoughts. With its increasing prevalence all over the world, if any of you have plans for a holiday, it's useful to have some information on this condition. Let's look at what it can do to the skin, how we can detect them in houses and hotels, and finally, how we can prevent infestations. The information from this talk come from a lecture given in the American Academy of Dermatology a couple of years ago, and from a review article in the New England Journal of Medicine. There's been a global resurgence of bed bugs in the last 30 years. The reasons include resistance to insecticide products, ineffective pest control practices, and an increase in domestic and international travel. Sites of infestations include hotels, bed and breakfast, private homes, apartments, hospitals, public transport vehicles like taxis, trains, cruise ships, and airplanes. Bed bug bites are painless and may occur in any exposed part of the body. They commonly affect those that are not covered by sheets and blankets, such as the arms, the legs, the face, and the neck. Skin lesions can be noticeable immediately after the person wakes up, but sometimes develop after a few days. Itchy red spots are the most common clinical finding. The diameter is about two to five millimeters, but sometimes can be up to two centimeters. The lesions can also form blisters at times. Bites are in a linear distribution and are sometimes referred to as breakfast, lunch, and dinner sign. Remember that it's very difficult to differentiate bed bug bites from other insect bites. Apart from physical changes, there are psychological consequences to bed bug infestations, which is often underestimated. Sleep deprivation or sleeplessness is commonly associated. Patients may be awakened by the itching due to bed bug bites. Scratching may exacerbate the itch, further disturbing sleep, and this is called the itch scratch cycle. Bed bug infestations are also associated with psychological distress like nightmares, phobias, anxiety, and delusions of parasitosis, with people worrying that they are being bitten at night. Those living in an infested home may feel shame and social isolation. It is useful to briefly look at the life cycle of bedbugs. Female bedbugs lay approximately 200 to 500 eggs in a lifetime. They are dependent on humans but may feed on a wide variety of other warm-blooded animals. At room temperatures of approximately 22 degrees centigrade or 72 degrees Fahrenheit, eggs hatch within 9 to 12 days into nymphs. All nymphal and adult stages require blood to complete their life cycle. Every three to five days, a bed bug must feed for three to five minutes to get a complete engorgement before molting to the next stage. At 22 degrees centigrade, the life cycle requires approximately two months. We can detect bed bugs by checking the environment. The inspection of rest areas such as beds, sofas and their surroundings must be done meticulously. The presence of exoskeletons or bed bug dark fecal spots on mattresses and beddings is a clear sign of infestation. Check the tubings of mattresses as they sometimes hide there. Bed bugs emit a characteristic musty sweet odor produced by specialized glands. People who can smell this often describe it as a berry scent. Trained sniffer dogs are efficient at detecting bed bugs, and this is particularly useful for large scale facilities like office buildings, retail stores, and theaters. So, how do we treat it? Cutaneous symptoms are frequently self limiting and resolve within one to two weeks spontaneously. Bites should be washed with soap or antiseptic solutions. Topical steroids like 1% hydrocortisone or clobetazone once or twice a day for up to seven days and antihistamic medications may help for very itchy lesions. Systemic antibiotics may be indicated to treat secondary infection. Eradication of bed bugs is linked to early detection. Non-chemical control methods like vacuum cleaners can rapidly reduce the bed bug population in an infestation and even remove some eggs. Vacuum cleaners need to have a disposable bag which is immediately removed and sealed in plastic after use. Textile materials must be removed from infested locations and washed at 60 degree centigrade or 140 degree Fahrenheit or it should be frozen. 
placing items at minus 20 degrees centigrade or minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit for at least two hours kills all bed bugs and eggs. However, the temperature in most domestic level freezers is insufficient. By steaming mattresses and other furniture covered in unremovable textiles at 60 degrees centigrade, all stages of bed bugs are killed rapidly within one minute. This can be performed with the use of consumer grade commercial steamers. Remember that bed bug populations are now largely resistant to conventional insecticides. We may also encounter bed bugs during our holidays. Here are a few practical tips whilst traveling. Remember that your suitcase is a cruise ship for bed bugs. Bed bugs cannot climb metal stands, so use a suitcase rack on, or place your suitcase on the table. Do not keep your suitcase on the floor or near the bed. If you are very worried, use a suitcase liner or even a bin bag around the suitcase. There are also ways by which we can prevent bed bug infestation. We can seal the cracks and crevices which discourages bed bugs from hiding there. We can regularly inspect furniture and check the hotel rooms before sleeping in the beds. In healthcare settings where bed bug infestation is known, a patient's items can be placed in a sealed plastic bag and frozen until the next day. And steam cleaners can be used in the patient's room and any materials in contact with the patient, such as wheelchairs. Travelers who are exposed to bed bugs need to decontaminate luggage, clothes and belongings on returning home using mechanical methods like brushing, vacuuming, heating, washing or freezing. As mentioned before, chemical methods do not work. So to wrap it up, bed bugs can be a problem for any one of us. It's found all over the world and we can encounter it during our travels. Let's make sure we're able to recognize its infestation and use adequate precaution to prevent infection. I hope you found this information helpful. Thank you for listening and bye.